If you're looking to 3D print some jewellery, laser cut some coasters, or simply create unique geometric designs, mastering TikiCAD code blocks could be the key to automating your design process. Designing with code allows you to easily replicate geometry and create symmetrical shapes and patterns with ease. In the traditional Tinkercad user interface, you can manipulate objects by moving them, rotating and scaling them within the work plane. Movement and dimensions in Tinkercad are denoted by millimeters and rotation is in degrees, with 360 degrees equal to a complete revolution. Any object can be moved and rotated around either the X, Y or Z axis. Blocks. Rather than manipulating pieces manually, we can instead use code to set a sequence of events to take place. Just like in Scratch, blocks are used for the coding language. In this video, I will show you the basics to create your very own geometric design and share with you the code that I've used in today's lesson. Here is an example of a design that has been created using only a series of circles. If you watch its creation, you can see that a circle is placed, it is moved up, and then subsequently rotated around the z-axis. From there, you can see the same process again, this time with smaller circles that start further out and repeated six times. So how does this work? Well, first I'll run you through the code. Hopefully you can understand what each line means. And then from there, you can actually manipulate variables and change things within the code so that you can make your very own unique design. First, we're gonna start by setting a few variables. Don't worry, these will make sense in just a second. Variables are essentially things that we can change once the code is complete. And it's actually what makes manipulating designs later on so easy. When we want to later, we can change how many rings there are and how much things rotate as well. We're gonna start this design by adding a torus, which we'll call a ring from now on, with a radius of 20 millimeters. The other parameters we have here, such as the sides, tubes, and steps, just change what the actual tube looks like or what the ring looks like. You can manipulate these how you like, and you can see what actually happens when you do change it around. Now that we have our first ring, we wanna move it up by 10 millimeters. This is so that the circle's midpoint is no longer at the origin and we'll have a point around which we can rotate. Once we move the ring, we wanna rotate it around the z-axis, pivoting around the x and y origin points, zero, zero. For now, we're gonna set the rotation to rot dig, our variable we set earlier on. For the next rings, however, we want to change the amount of rotation around the z-axis, each time rotating more and more. We can do this by including the change variable block. But how do we decide by how much we rotate our shapes? Well, if there's 360 degrees in a circle, and we have a certain number of rings, then we wanna make sure we spread them evenly by dividing 360 degrees by the number of rings. Now we could stop here, but just to make things a bit more fun, simply copy and paste the code and add some more rings. This time we'll make them a bit smaller with a radius of five and move them further away from the center by increasing Y by 35. Pressing play now allows you to see your design come to life. But the real benefit of coding designs is that we can actually change the variables right at the end. So rather than just sticking with five or six rings, we can change that value to seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, or whatever number you have in mind. This way we can actually make our designs really different just by changing one simple number. Find the link to this CodeBlock project in the description of this video. You can either start from scratch or you can use the code as a basis for your own design. For other Tinkercad designs or to learn how to export this design ready for 3D printing or laser cutting, View the videos I've also attached in the description and linked in the Tinkercad playlist below.